Our weed of the week today is a yellow foxtail. It's actually the first grass that I learned how to identify. When you look at the foxtail species, a lot of times people will group them all together and say, oh, that's pigeon grass, or oh, that's a foxtail. Well, that's nice to know that it has that uh, foxtail head, but there's a lot of difference in weed control with certain products between one foxtail and the next. Yellow foxtail, the way I identify it, is I look for long hairs near the base of the leaf as it attaches to the stem. You'll see some long tufts of hair going up that leaf a little bit. That's how you know you have a yellow foxtail. Yeah, it really is pretty easy. I mean, you can go through all the other things. It's got a small seed, it's got a hairy ligule, all this stuff, but it just comes down to, I well, I don't really know of any other grass plant that looks like this that's got those long hairs at the base of the leaf blade. That's really all you need to do to figure it out. Okay, so the first step is identify it because it is gonna change the rates and the products that you're gonna choose to control it. Once you find out that you do have yellow foxtail, you need to get after it with the right rate. Let's start in the wheat. Well, in wheat, when we start talking about puma, one of the older grass killers, there's a lot of puma used yet. You're going to need four tenths or maybe even five tenths of a pint, and it's not a whole lot different with some of the other grass products out there too. There are some that are going to be a little bit better on yellow foxtail, but it, you know you just need to check with your agronomist and make sure the product you're using is good on the foxtail you have. That's our biggest thing that we wanted to get across to you today. Make sure you know what you're dealing with. If it's all green foxtail, that's one thing. If it's all yellow foxtail, it's another thing. Maybe you have both. We do on our farm, so then you have to deal with both issues. Well, here's the other thing. In wheat especially, there's a lot of tank mixes with broadleaf herbicides and grass herbicides, and there is antagonism there when it comes to grass control. So if you're going to have yellow foxtail in your wheat field, just spray the grass herbicide first and then come back a week later and spray that broadleaf herbicide. You can't afford to lose any of your control, especially when yellow foxtail is already tough to get. Turning to corn, Liberty or the new Ignite now, that is much better on green foxtail and even woolly cupgrass than it is on yellow foxtail. So keep that in mind. Even a full rate of Ignite or Liberty is not real great on yellow foxtail. You would probably need some help by putting a pre-emerge herbicide well, it's down. It's kind of the same thing that Accent and Steadfast used to have that weakness in conventional corn. All the pre's work pretty good, like Harness, Surpass, Dual, and Outlook. They do a great job on yellow foxtail down. It's kind of the same story in soybeans. You've got Trefland, Prowl, and Sonland. They do a lights out job on yellow foxtail. If you do have a few that get through, all the products do a decent job. Select Max, Post, Assure, all those grass killers, Post Emerge, Fusion, will take out yellow foxtail. Yeah, and let's not forget, Roundup is pretty good too, even at a low rate. <laughs> well, that's all time we have for this week's weed, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.